not always do we have triangles because sometimes we have angles that end up on the quadrant, meaning from the positive x-axis to here we have 180. And so there's no triangle to be made with the x-axis, but if you can think of the point on your unit circle, uh, you've gone to the left 1 and up and down 0. So your x value is negative 1, your y value is 0. So you can't draw the triangle, so you can't think of the opposite over the adjacent, the hypotenuse and all of that, so you have to think of the y value as telling you what the sine is, because the y value is always opposite of your angle. And the cosine as your x, and the tangent as the ratio between them, opposite over adjacent. Same way cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of the tangent, so it'll be x over y. Cosecant is related to the sine. Purposely switched them up here so we could get used to it. Reciprocal of the sine, 1 over the y, or just flip over your number. And secant, 1 over the x. So the sine value, the y value, is just 0 in this case. So the sine of 180 is 0. Cosine is negative 1. And 0 divided by negative 1, if you cut it into you don't have anything to begin with, you're not going to have anything. The reciprocal of zero doesn't exist. Negative one over zero, or one over zero, anything, undefined. And we'll probably use the, sh the shortening of that and just say undefined like that. Or undefined, maybe like that. Uh, the reciprocal of the y value also doesn't exist because it's just 1 over 0 undefined. And so you'll notice that a lot of times on the quadrant angles you're not going to have things defined when they're reciprocals of 0. Reciprocal of negative 1 is in fact negative 1. So things to keep in mind when you can't draw the triangle is that you have to know the relationship between x and y and r. So, if it's not a quadrant angle, there's some angle, this is the, the Greek letter alpha, that corresponds to the angle, meaning this. If you have some angle, say we've gone around and it's 240. 240 degrees. There's always this triangle that you make here, and we're going to label this angle right here as our reference angle, which is the same. That's your reference angle alpha. Because we've gone 60 degrees past 180, alpha is 60 degrees. And so you can think of that as your angle in your first quadrant, and it's just going to be a reflection image of that. It's just going to be positive or negative, respectively. The thing to keep in mind, though, is that all of your triangles are formed by the x-axis. Um, all of them form back to the x-axis. And that way, your sine and your cosine um, are always the same. Sine always deals with the y. Cosine always deals with the x. So we dealt with this last time. If you have 1 and 1, and square root of 2, or we dealt with it relative to the short side, the hypotenuse is twice as long, and the long side is square root of 3 times as long. What we want to do is now go to the unit circle with this. And the unit circle has a hypotenuse of 1, so if we divide all of these by square root of 2, square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, so we get a 1 as a radius. r equals 1, because in the unit circle, the radius equals 1. That's the whole reason we're dealing with it. And up here, we're going to divide everything by 2, because we want the r value to equal 1 here as well. So 1, div one divided by the square root of 2, we multiply, we get root 2 over 2. 
Same deal here, root 2 over 2 after we rationalize. And when we divide by 2 here, we get 1 half. 1 divided by 2, and square root of 3 divided by 2. These numbers are going to show up all over your unit circle. And so that's what I want us to do now, is go to our unit circle and fill out all of those special angles, your x and your y value, so that when we use it in our unit circle, we can use just y over x and all of that. So go to your unit circle, fill out all of these x's and y's, positive, negative, and things like that. And then give you the overall picture. Not that we're going to use the unit circle every time, but it'll give you the overall picture so that you can do it.